Hi friends, how are you all? If you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so. Clicking on the bell icon next to it will give you a notification. When we upload a video into the channel you will know it. Please share it with your friends and all those whose lives you want to shine in. Now let's get into the story. Once upon a time a pregnant lioness was in lot of pain. The lioness died shortly after giving birth. Not knowing what to do the newborn, he enters a nearby farm and joins a flock of sheep. The mother sheep looks at the lion cub and pities on it and chooses to raise it on its own. Thus that lion cub grows up along with the other sheep and begins to think and act like a sheep. It swells like a sheep and even eats grass. But in fact it was rarely happy. For that matter, there was always the feeling of missing something. What's more, the other sheep were constantly making fun of it because this lion cub was so different from them. They say to that lion cub, you are so scary and your voice sounds so weird. For what reason can you not swell with wool as most of us do? You are being part of this flock of sheep as a shame to entire flock of sheep. The lion cub was still there, and every single word of these comments made it to suffer and life seemed to be very miserable to it. Because it is so unusual, he felt that his life was in vain, that his birth itself a disgrace to this flock of sheep. Once, a lion from a distant forest sees this flock of sheep and decides to attack them. While attacking, it sees this lion cub with other sheep fleeing. The lion wondered what was going on and stopped chasing the sheep and ran after the lion cub. It jumped on the lion cub and asks that lion cub for its running away with fear. The lion cub trembled with fear and said, Please do not eat me, I am only a lamb. Please let me go. Upon hearing this, the big lion roared and said, You are not a lamb. You are a lion cub, you think you are a lamb. The lion cub said, I know I am a lamb. Have pity on me and let me go. Then comes an idea for this big lion. It takes this lion cub to a nearby stream and snorts to see its appearance in it. This lion cub is amazed to see that reflection, because he himself resembling this great lion. Until then, it moved with sheeps and it had no resemblance to the sheeps with which he roamed. It is awe-inspiring. He himself is not a sheep but a lion. It roars loudly with immense pleasure. Its roar echoes throughout that forest. Even the sheep hiding in the bushes are stunned to see what is going on there. All of them ran away from there. That's a powerful lion. Now there is no chance for those sheep to make fun of the lion anymore. Because of the lion found its true nature, and as it regained its actual state these sheeps will not be dare enough to stand in front of it. Friends. Like the little lion in this story, we too grow up in many hostile environments. What parents say can have a profound effect on us, whether it is due to a lack of schooling or a lack of understanding from the parents' side. Our relatives or those around us may try to humiliate us with a sense of inferiority due to misunderstanding. It can create situations where we feel distrustful of ourselves. So we may have accumulated a lot of negative beliefs about ourselves. Bad parenting, bad teachers, bad peers, the media, government and society all might have installed these negative effects on us in childhood. Friends, a king ruled his kingdom and made all his people happy. 
He disguised himself as a beggar and went on a tour of the kingdom to learn about the plight of his people. Some years later, however, he forgot that he was a king and started living as a beggar. The minister who is ruling this kingdom as in charge, waited years for king's arrival, but king was not returned. So he himself goes and catches the king in the guise of a beggar and reminds him that he is not a beggar and takes him back to the kingdom. Likewise as we grow older we will be trapped in the captivity of negative thoughts and forgot our true state. It is very easy to get caught up in the captivity of negative thoughts, to lose ourselves, and to feel sorry for ourselves by blaming the past and blaming all people for keeping our life like this, and blaming ourselves for it. But it also will not allow us to find the reality about ourselves in the present, and makes us struct, caught up in the bad ideas formed within us. Somehow our situation becomes like stagnated water that has stopped somewhere and became dirty water. But if we see free-flowing river with constant speed can contain no contaminants. So to change our present reality and find out what we really are, we need to start working on our inner selves and must focus our energy on self-awareness. If we want to become a mature person we have to become a perpetual student. We have to look at both the good and bad opinions we have about ourselves inwardly, and we need to look at the fears within us and need to accept them. The awareness towards our hidden innermost fears gives us independence from them. We must constantly provide good habits for our body and mind. If we know that something went wrong with us, we must try to correct it. Many are helping us during the day and we need to develop a sense of gratitude towards them. The big lion in this story is not an external entity. It is an internal entity. It lives within us. This big lion is our true self, this awareness should manifest within us. We need to allow our understanding to light up on all the beliefs that limit us and find who we really are. No great man of the history criticizes or degrades the other person. That is why whenever Sri Vivekananda addressed anyone, he addresses people as the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. That is the fact that he discovered. That fact is to be manifested in all of us and on that day this world itself will be eternal, blissful and beautiful garden. Please, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.